مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى هذا كتاب الله أعذب من هل الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the 21st episode of the series the 40 hadith pertaining to the virtues and the rulings of the Quran In today's episode we will look at a beautiful hadith that was narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu an Now this hadith is reported at Tirmidhi and some scholars did say the hadith is weak and uh, it has some weakness with it. However, due to its supporting chains of narration, inshallah, we say that it is an acceptable hadith, uh, at the very least, inshallah ta'ala. In this hadith, it's actually a hadith Qudsi. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in this hadith, uh, as reported by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَنْ شَغْلَهُ الْقُرْآنَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي وَمَسْأَلَتِي أَعْطَيْتُهُ أَفْضَلَ مَا أُعْطِيَ السَّائِلِينَ That whoever is preoccupied with, with the Quran over uh, remembering and making dhikr of me and asking me then I will give him more than I give to those who uh, ask um, of me وَفَضْلُ كَلَامِ اللَّهِ عَلَى سَائِرِ الْكَلَامِ كَفَضْلِ اللَّهِ عَلَى خَلْقِهِ um, The virtue of the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in comparison to normal speech or anybody else's speech is like the virtue of Allah himself over the creation subhanallah so what does it mean? Man shaghalahu al-Qur'an an dhikri wa mas'alati Whoever preoccupies himself with the Qur'an over the dhikr of Allah and asking Allah then Allah will give him more than he gives to those who ask directly. Now firstly, this might seem a bit confusing because as we know, Allah asks us and tells us to ask from him. So it, it seems as though this hadith is discouraging people to, uh, uh, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, the, the, but we say to this, no, this is not the case. What the hadith is really teaching us is that we as believers shouldn't be people who uh, just have a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on, on, on asking and taking. That's not befitting of the believer. He only turns to Allah when he asks. But when he wants something and he so just turns to Allah and says, oh Allah, give me this or give me that or etc. No, rather it's befitting that the believer has a closer relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the way that we have a close relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is through the Qur'an. Because if a person truly loves Allah wants to be close to Him, he will continuously be attached to the words of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, continuously reciting up them, reflecting upon them, pondering them, etc. And, and, and striving to act upon it. So this is what it means, man shaghalahu al-Qur'an. Whoever preoccupies himself with the Qur'an in terms of reciting, reflection, acting upon, etc. Then he will give uh, that person more than he gives the one who uh, asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. This is because he is closer to Allah. And the closer you are to Allah and the more beloved you are to Allah, Allah will shower you with his graces more than he will give uh, to, to the one who only turns to him when he is in need. Only turns him when he is in need. The second part of the hadith seems to be, according to many scholars, the, the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As if he was, the person is explaining why this is the case. وَفَضْلُ كَلَامِ اللَّهِ عَلَى سَائِلِ الْكَلَامِ That the virtue of Allah's speech in comparison to anybody else's speech is like the comparison or the virtue of Allah Himself over His creation. Now just reflect upon that. The virtue of Allah over His creation, meaning Allah Himself. How greater is He than creation? And that's something which cannot be fathomed. Then the word of Allah, the word of Allah, the Qur'an itself, it is just as virtuous over, uh, 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 just, just, just as Allah is virtuous over his creation, then the words of Allah, they are greater than the rest of the words of mankind in a similar fashion. Now, subhanAllah, if you reflect upon this, every time we recite the Quran, we should remember this point, that the virtue of these words that you are reciting and it, yes, it is so great, it is like the virtue of Allah Himself over the rest of creation. And that's the actual point that we need to take from this hadith. Whenever we recite the Qur'an, we need to really um, have in our minds and venerate these words and understand these are the words of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke these words um, Himself. 
And so the more you are closer to the Quran and you are preoccupied with the Quran, you will find that Allah will shower you with his graces and his bounties and his mercy. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who preoccupy their time with the study and the reflection of the Quran. Ameen. And in the next episode, inshallah ta'ala, we will look at the virtue of reciting the Quran uh, during the night prayers and how a person can accumulate a lot of reward by doing so. Barakallahu feekum wa salam alaykum wa rahmatullah. الصالحات وللمكارم والتقى نور على مر الزمان تأ...